Welcome to First Science, where we conduct family-friendly experiments that you can recreate at home or in the classroom. Now today, we're doing an experiment that focuses on photosynthesis, which is the ability of a plant to turn sunlight into energy, as well as take in carbon dioxide and breathe out the oxygen that we all breathe. Now this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need, I recommend, a glass bowl or really something clear. It'll allow you to see the reaction much, much better. Now, we're gonna take a little field trip out of the For Science Lab to head outside to collect both an active leaf, which I will explain in just a moment, as well as a small rock. Let's head outside. So we're outside and what we need to do is we need to find an active leaf. Now what that means is that we need to take a leaf directly off a plant. Now as you see, it's autumn, so there are leaves all over the ground, but these are non-active or dead leaves. You don't wanna use that for this experiment because it'll not have a similar reaction. So let's head over and get a leaf from a live active plant, but please, please remember to do so sparingly. So if you're recreating this experiment, say in the classroom, have your kids pair up or get in groups. So you're not taking too many leaves off the plant. Also, you could use a pair of scissors or you can pull it straight off the plant, but please be careful and mindful of what plant you are handling. Okay, so now we got our leaf. Another thing you wanna collect while you're outside is a small rock or pebble that can sit on top of the leaf to keep it fully submerged in our bowl of water. Let's head back inside. Okay, so we went outside, we have our leaf, we have our rock, we have our bowl of water. So what you're gonna to wanna to do next is make sure that the leaf is fully submerged under the water. So we put the leaf in, put the rock on top, and there you go. So what you're gonna wanna do is now place this bowl in a location where it will get light throughout the day, but not be in direct sunlight. Now comes the hard part. We're gonna be waiting 24 hours to see what the chemical reaction will be. During this time, ask your kids what would happen if they held their breath went underwater in a swimming pool, and then let their breath out. Well, they would see bubbles coming up in the water. That's what we're hopefully going to be seeing here. Now, the leaf is still using sunlight as part of photosynthesis, which allows it to convert sunlight to energy. Now, as the leaf creates energy, it needs to get rid of the items it no longer needs. So it expels both extra oxygen and extra energy during the photosynthesis process. Now this is going to allow us to see bubbles as the leaf releases its extra oxygen while submerged. The oxygen can be seen as bubbles in the water and since oxygen is lighter than water, the bubbles will eventually rise to the surface. As a human, we take in air and oxygen as we exhale and release carbon dioxide while plants take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen for us to breathe. So there you have it. Make sure that your kids know that what they're seeing here is the invisible. This is not seen when you look at the trees outside. You don't see the process of photosynthesis. Now you can. And of course, as always, we are gonna make sure that a full material list as well as a step-by-step -step breakdown so that you can recreate this experiment at home or in the classroom. It's all gonna be available after the show today on 9and10news.com. And remember, we're always doing it 